secretary, members of the Congress, Mr. Superintendent, Commandant, uh, distinguished officers, cadets. It's a great personal pleasure for me to uh, have an opportunity with the uh, Secretary of the Treasury and the members of Congress to review the cadets of this ship and to have an opportunity to indicate our great interest in the Coast Guard. As a uh, sailor on the one of the ships of the Coast Guard this weekend, uh, I realize uh, how uh, important and significant uh, this operation which you've carried out today is. I'm not sure there are many other Americans who could uh, climb that uh, rigging and unfurl those sails in uh, good times and in bad times. I think that uh, the American people have been too long unaware of the high quality and high caliber of the cadets of the Coast Guard. When I was a member of the Congress, I had an opportunity to make a uh, analysis of the kinds of examinations which are given to cadets entering the Coast Guard. And I must say they are most exacting. They are of the highest standard. Academically, the Coast Guard is uh, certainly second to none of its sister academies of the Navy, the Army, and the Air Force. It attracts uh, able young men from all sections of the country who uh, love the sea and who recognize that the Coast Guard, uh, with the Corps of Engineers, has a very special opportunity to serve the American people and our country, not only in wartime, but also in peacetime. And there is not anyone uh, who has uh, sailed any of our lakes or oceans who has not at one time or another been the beneficiary of the faithful service of the Coast Guard. This is a very uh, ancient service in our country's history. Its first uh, father, the progenitor of so many uh, distinguished uh, acts, Alexander Hamilton, began the Coast Guard as a uh, revenue collecting service, asked the Congress of the United States for appropriations for 10 vessels, the first of which was to cost a total when fully equipped of $1,000 and was named uh, the Massachusetts. The Eagle, the first Eagle, was one of our most distinguished uh, warships and in actions against privateers of France uh, captured over five vessels, recaptured seven American vessels, had a most distinguished record up till the time it was uh, decommissioned in 1801. A number of Eagles have followed since and we are glad today to visit uh, the most recent. This is the oldest continuous uh, seagoing service uh, in the United States, stretching back to the beginning of our country. So I want all of you who are cadets to know uh, how uh, proud we are of you. I hope that you and uh, your fellow Americans realize how vital this service is. You serve uh, our country, as I've said, in peacetime, and ice patrols and weather patrols, in protecting the whole standards of the merchant marine, in protecting safety at sea, and in time of war, you with the American Navy, uh, as you did in World War II and at the time of Korea, defend our coast by uh, defending uh, the outermost reaches of our, the approaches to our country. So we're very delighted to see you. The mission of the Coast Guard in your manual is to graduate young men with sound bodies, stout hearts, and alert minds, with a liking for the sea and its law, and with that high sense of honor loyalty and obedience, which goes with trained initiative and leadership, well grounded in seamanship, the sciences, and the amenities, and strong in the resolve to be worthy of the traditions of the commissioned officers in the United States Coast Guard in the service of their country and humanity. This mission has been faithfully carried out, and I'm delighted that we have a chance to see today the high quality of the cadets. The words I like best in this very important mission is to graduate men with a liking for the sea. And I know that uh, all of you share the great affection we have for that ever-changing ocean upon uh, which we so much depend. Gentlemen, I've been informed uh, that uh, this constitutes a visit to the Coast Guard Academy, which I look forward to making, and therefore taking advantage of my uh, prerogatives as a Commander-in-Chief, I want to uh, exempt uh, with the permission of the superintendent, the commandant, the secretary of the Navy, of uh, the Treasury, and various uh, others. We want to exempt all of you from any uh, penalties which you may now uh, carry with you, and to tell you that we're proud of you and wish you many years of service in the Coast Guard and the service of our country.